Hello everybody. This is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the North American server. I am in my T21 and last film we saw Winnie Anka play his M5A1 on Sand River Assault Defense. Now I get to play my T21 on Sand River Assault Offense. Same map, opposite spawn. Two artillery apiece, two enemy scouts, three allied scouts. Both teams have a all heavies and TDs with one medium apiece. There's a couple E25s on our team, so well, one E25 and a Scorpion. We have a little bit better agility, but overall, with the exception of the scouts, these are very slow in mobile teams. Perfect for spotting in the middle if the enemy doesn't oppose me by coming up the middle ramp, which I fully expect them to do. Don't know what the Bulldog's going to do, but the T37 appears to be a good player he's probably going to make a move on the middle so I move down here I'm going to make a half court spotting run but I fully expect to find the T-37 somewhere along the way here. Start getting a couple spots there's the Bulldog moving over to the west completely skylining himself so that's too juicy of a target not to try to shoot at if I if I still get a shot when he's over here there he is sitting still wow nice red for a reason two hit points left then somebody gets the kill so I'll move back up in the middle one scout gone, one to go, and there he is, right in the middle like I thought he would be. So I'm going to retreat. He's going to shoot me a couple times as I go. I don't have any way around that. I'm going to move over here to the left once I get away and set up in a spot where if he shows his ugly little T-37 face, hopefully I'll be able to snipe him and get him to back down so he doesn't get to spot my team. Scorpion's already over here, so I need to set up in a spot that's not going to block the scorpion shot. I just move past him and up to the ridge. Back up. Make sure I'm not in front of the scorpion, and now I'll wait for a little bit. I have to get that T-37 out of there if I want to be able to spot from the middle ridge. At some point, he'll look back over, and hopefully I can hit him once or twice. If I get him well, see, I don't have a lot of hit points. So if I go up against him one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to tear me up. He's not looking back over the ridge at the moment. I don't want to sit there forever waiting him to pop back up, so if he's not popping back up, I'll wait until he does, and then I'll try to get him out of there again. I came over here to see if I could snipe anybody along the balcony up there. T-37's over there, wow. It looks like I'm not doing anything right now because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing anything because my wife sent me a message on text and so I was responding to that. Put myself in a position where nobody was going to see me, texted her back, and now I'm playing again. So yes, I took a break, but I had to. It's my wife. She has priority. Need one more shot on that guy to get a kill. Oh, somebody beats me to it. So with the T-37 down on that edge of the ditch and now dead, I should be able to go back up here and help spot. The 152 is over there, but he's behind a, a building I can't shoot through, so... 
We're starting to push southward along the western flank, so I'm going to move over there. We have a good start, three tank lead, but we've chewed up almost half the game establishing a three tank lead, and at that pace we're going to lose badly. We have to pick up the pace here. And it's starting to come in, it's starting to come around. We have people moving down toward Cap, sweeping the town clear of tanks. I'm on swing right, wide around that uh, TD and heavy back to my right. My plan is to make a big circle back to my right, catch the RD and maybe any support tank back here, trying to back up the IS-3 and the SE-100. Ooh, RD plus the AFK tank. RD first. They get to shoot me. AFK KV-5 isn't that much of a threat. I'll deal with him once the Artie dies. This guy's trying to turn over toward me. I'm going to try to stay behind the KV-5. Artie shoots and misses. Artie is dead. Then I get to pop the KV-5 for a while. Unfortunately, in a battle like this, you got to kill him. So I'm just going to sit here and kill him. Got a 50-100 coming in to help. One more shot's probably all I'm going to get. Nope, he's reloading. I'll get some more. Do I get to kill? Yes! Notice I was shooting right at the R2-D2, making sure all my shots did damage. Now we have one heavy down at the other end, and the, uh, the two tanks in the corner over here. The heavy this way is coming toward me. I don't want to take on an IS-3 head-to-head, -head, even with the one, the 50-100 right there, because the IS-3 is going to kick my butt. At range, I have to move in close. If I can get behind him, come on, go for the go for the 5100. And 5100, stay over there. Don't come this way. Keep bringing him closer to me. I want to get behind him. He's trying to go the same way. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to go the other way. I want to come in from the opposite angle, from the AMX, not the same angle. Now he's looking the other way. I can pull up beside him. Try to shoot for the hall. Get one shot in before he dies. Ended up being a really easy fight, 15 to 2. Head potential to be a lot tougher than that. For the battle, I end up with 2,201 damage and 3 kills. 20 of 22 shooting, that's 91%. 1,022 spotting damage with 7 spots. Lost 9,119 credits. Earned 2,045 XP. Survived the fight and got a spotter and fire for effect mini metal. It gives me a battle score of 2,065. That puts me in ninth place on the T21 list. Moved up to the middle. Got to help with the Bulldog right away, who foolishly went down the ridge and then stopped in full view of me and allowed my team to team up with me and take him out. Then the T37 came up the middle ramp, as I thought he would. I moved back over here to the break in the dunes to see if he would pop out again. And my idea was every time he popped up, I was going to snipe him. But um, he never did. He ended up going over here and trying to help his team over here. I wasn't getting any action here, so I moved over this way. I had to take a short break because my wife texted me. And uh, when I came back, we were starting to break down the, the field over here. I moved over here to help wrap my way around and came in on the artillery and then the KV-5 and then helped out with the IS-3. It's a very straightforward battle. Um, because they didn't heavily defend the west side, that opened up rather early in the fight. And, and I say early, but not really, because we were over half the fight before we started making any real progress. But what that is, and the reason you saw it at, after five minutes, we only had two kills. Or something like that. It wasn't very many. And two minutes later, we'd killed everybody. Well, in those first five minutes, even though we weren't getting kills, we were getting damage. We had a lot of those tanks at low health. So once they started to fall, they fell very quickly. And it ended up looking like it wasn't a close fight, when for most of the fight, they still were competitive. They were just losing the damage battle. And eventually, in a war of attrition, you can no longer 
hold up your end of the defense and once your domino falls the rest of the dominoes come crashing down along with you and that's what happened here so if you looked at if sometimes when you look at tank versus tank left it doesn't tell the real story because you could each have 10 tanks left but one of you may only have half the hit points team total as the other team and you're really way behind even though it looks like you're not that's what happened here we were able to do damage and they weren't and the house of cards came crumbling down in the last two minutes from sand river assault offense happy hunting